Hi kids, Miss Darcy here. I hope that you're doing okay. This week is exciting because it's Easter week, yay! We have so much to be thankful for, to be grateful for. And we get to celebrate Jesus this week. So before I share a lesson with you, let's go ahead and pray together. If you wanna fold your hands and close your eyes, we don't have to do that when we pray, but sometimes it's good to do that so that we don't get distracted. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for who you are, for how great you are. May we never forget that. You died on the cross and rose again for us. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Um, I'm going to talk to you about something. Hmm. What are these? Do y'all know what these are? Some of you may even wear these. These are glasses. Now, glasses are used for different things, usually to help people to see better. And um, sometimes when people are trying to read a book, the words on the pages start to look blurry. They start to be all fuzzy and hard to see. So some people get things like this, glasses, to help them see those words better. And glasses can do something called magnify. Have you heard that word before? It's a big word, magnify. Now, um, there's also something called a magnifying glass. It's a round glass that you can get and you can look at things with that. And even if they're very, very small, they can look really big through a magnifying glass. It's pretty special. Now, sometimes we magnify things that we really should not magnify, but it's taking all of our focus and all of our attention when we magnify those things. I have something here, it's a word. And I wanna see if you can see this word. What do you think? Can you see it? Maybe you can't, but what if it is magnified? What if it is right in front of you so that it's all you can look at. You see that? It's right in front of you. It's all around you. Look at that. Even though before it looked small, now it looks pretty big, doesn't it? It says fear. For some of us right now, fear is magnified. It's kind of right in front of us. And we feel these feelings of fear because of things happening in the world. But maybe you feel this fear, but you have to know one thing. We know someone who is so much bigger than fear. Have you ever gone outside and looked at the sky the sky is so big and so beautiful. Sometimes you can see clouds. Sometimes you can see different colors of sunset and sunrise. Have you looked at the trees and nature and creation? There's so much in this world. There's a great song that maybe some of you know. It says, he's got the whole world in his hands. Who's got the whole world in his hands? Jesus, that's right. You know what? The sky is so big and so amazing, but Jesus has the whole world in his hands. He is the one that made it. He is the one that made me and you, and he loves us so much, no matter what's going on in our lives. So instead of focusing, oops, focusing on that fear. Let's focus on how big and how great he is. 
Now to do that, let's talk about Easter. Is Easter all about eggs? What do you think? Is it all about egg hunts? What do you think? How about Easter bunnies? Is Easter all about Easter bunnies? Hmm, how about chocolate? Now chocolate is really good. Is Easter all about chocolate? If you answered no to all three of those questions, you are right. Easter's not about eggs. It's not about egg hunts. And it's not about bunnies. It's not even about chocolate, even though chocolate is good. Easter is all about celebrating Jesus who died on the cross and rose again. Now, when Jesus came to earth, he was perfect. He didn't do anything wrong, not even one thing. He was perfect. But a long time ago, people made mistakes. People did things that were bad and they kept on doing things that were bad. And God said, you know what? I want people to be with me forever in heaven. But because they're doing all these bad things, they need to be punished. I don't want people to be punished and be away from me forever. So I'm gonna send Jesus to be a sacrifice for them. Jesus, who was perfect, came to earth. He was fully God and he came to earth and lived life here on this earth and then he died, not for bad things that he had done, but he died for you and for me. And something very interesting happened when he died. A darkness came upon that area of the world at that time. Now it was so different because it was only afternoon, but that darkness came. Darkness was all around, and I bet a lot of those people were feeling fear. Jesus, who they had known, who they had seen do miracles, was now dead. He had died on the cross. They felt afraid. They felt sad. They felt so many different things. But you know what? The world didn't stay dark, and Jesus did not stay dead. Three days later, something amazing happened. This is what the Bible says. This is a great book. The Bible, God's words to us are in here. In Luke 24, it says, it was very early in the morning on the first day of the week. The women took spices that they had prepared and they went to the tomb. They went to the place where Jesus's body was buried. They found the stone rolled away from it. When they entered the tomb, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. They were wondering about this and suddenly two men in clothes as bright as lightning stood beside them. The women were terrified and they bowed down with their faces to the ground. Then the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? Jesus is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you he would rise? It was while he was still with you in Galilee. He said, the son of man must be handed over to sinful people. He must be nailed to the cross, but on the third day he will rise from the dead. Then the women remembered Jesus's words. Jesus already told them to have hope. He already to told them that he would rise from the dead. And now they remembered. So even when they felt fear, even when they saw this darkness, it didn't stay dark, but instead, Three days later, they found this, an empty tomb. Now that was good news. Now, instead of feeling fear and having fear be magnified, they had hope. They knew that Jesus had died for the sins of the world. And no matter what happened on this earth, they got to be with him someday, forever in heaven. We can have this same hope and know that we get to be with Jesus forever someday in heaven too. Now that is good news. That's news that shows how big God is and how our fears are nothing compared to him. 
He is great. Let's go ahead and say a prayer together just to close. I, I know sometimes maybe we feel afraid. And if you do feel afraid, please feel free to talk to an adult. Um, speak with someone. Pray with someone. Try to really give those fears over to God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that we can always live with hope. You have risen. No matter what happens, may we always know that you have the whole world in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Easter. Celebrate Jesus and how big he is.